the Need for Speed No Limits is basically the ultimate mobile game for street racing. Uh, it's really, for me, the only game where you really feel like you're steering the car and you're drifting the car and you're smashing the car sometimes, sort of evading the police. Uh, really everything that makes that fantasy really fun for players. I think it's just amazing to see all the detail and just how reactive the cars are to the environments. And previously when we were making mobile games, we have to paint a lot of this in, it was static information. But now, as the camera and the car's moving around, everything's reacting appropriately to the lights and the environment. What elevates Need for Speed No Limits compared to other racing titles on the market is we're really pushing the fidelity of the game to reach console quality level. So we're introducing new shaders on the cars, uh, realistic uh, environment lighting, uh, which really makes the cars pop off the screen. Uh, we're giving the game extra kick with things like lookup tables, which gives it an overall cinematic feel with colour grading. Uh, we're also doing really fine details, like having real-time rain bounce off the car's surface and scatter around the environments. With the high-end devices, we can not only crank up the graphics to its full capacity, but we can also maintain a high frame rate throughout the game, which gives the players that extra sense of speed. The experience on the Shield is the most realistic and it's the closest to what we intended. And in fact, during development, we were able to put all of the effects on, such as the physically based shading, high dynamic range rendering, and the new particle system. And once we had everything turned on to maximum, we still had additional headroom in the hardware to put more effects in. This is the first time we've just made the ultimate game for mobile fans. So we're trying to really represent all of street racing culture, the music, the cars. Uh, so really we control everything from the storyline, the characters, and really importantly, like how the game evolves over time. We're constantly giving the players new cars, new events to play. One of the key things we're doing is our visual customization system gives players millions of combinations of body parts, paint jobs, and uh, even rooms that they can use to build their dream cars. When you get a new car, you unlock this whole series of events, and it's really about challenging yourself to make the best possible, you know, Toyota Supra, the best possible Ferrari, and you really feel challenged to like, I'm gonna make my car the ultimate. I think the Need for Speed No Limits really shines when you have a tablet device. For me, that's what I like to play on. The Shield Piron really allows players to experience the game as we intended because the platform was powerful and mature enough for us to do that. It's been great working with NVIDIA. They've been helping us a lot on tools and technology and they really want to push Android as a, a serious gaming platform. What's special for me about playing Need for Speed No Limits is literally getting that sense of speed. You really are driving the car and you put yourself in that position of being a, a really cool street racer.